The intense flooding that may be witnessed in some parts of the country, as rightly highlighted by the National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, is also of concern to persons with special needs who may be largely affected if authorities do not come to their aid. At a news conference on Monday, the Executive Director of Centre for Citizens with Disabilities, David Anyaili, says if government has to manage flood disaster in the country, then they should be put into consideration. Most state agencies fail to adequately plan for or include persons with disabilities in their disaster management activities. This causes severe inequalities in access to immediate response as well as long-term recovery resource for persons with disabilities prior to disaster and those who acquire a disability as a result of disaster as well. If adequate care is not taken to address these issues by the identified states by its management agency, uh, government beforehand, most persons with disabilities will lose their lives and property. Against this backdrop, it, is, it has become imperative for us as an organization of and for persons with disabilities to draw attention of NEMA at the state level, the state emergency management agency, and other relevant stakeholders to the plight of Nigerians with disabilities when disaster of course. With particular reference also to those in relief camps, they say adequate measures should be taken to ensure relief materials and other supports uh, to displaced persons are distributed without discrimination against persons living with disability amongst other recommendations. Include options that are easily accessible to persons on wheelchair, the visually impaired, and those with other forms of disabilities. That the state and other agencies for emergency management should pay adequate professional medical attention to newly injured or disabled persons to avoid medical complication, secondary disability, or even fatal outcomes, and avoid aggravating of injury or new disabilities by inadequate transportation of injured persons during evacuation. The national and state houses of assembly should demand for accountability from the, from the federal and state management agencies on their preparedness and provisions for, to accommodate and ensure citizens with disabilities are protected before, during, and after flood disaster in Nigeria. That the organization of persons with disabilities in Nigeria should take proactive steps to lobby and demand for their consent to be mainstreamed into the policies and program of emergency management agencies and demonstrate willingness to partner with these agencies during emergency situations. 